If you've taken a calculus class, you probably know that the limit of a constant is just that constant. It's a really nice property, really useful when you're taking limits. But just knowing this is different than proving it. How can we show that this is in fact true? We have to satisfy the definition. Remember the definition for a sequence to be convergent? For any epsilon greater than zero, so I'll just let epsilon greater than zero, we need some n, some capital N, such that for all n after that n, the absolute value of the difference between the sequence and its limit is less than epsilon. That's always a mouthful. Let's break it down. Now for this epsilon, we need to find an n, some capital N, such that for all little n greater than or greater than or equal to greater than this n, this happens. The absolute value of the sequence. What's the sequence? Well, I'm just letting it be c. c is a constant here. Minus its limit. Well, what's its limit? Its limit is going to be c. <laughs> it's going to be its own thing. This in absolute value is supposed to be less than epsilon. I need to find an n that makes this true. Well, what I usually do, I usually start working with this and you know, the math's not too hard here. C minus C is just zero here. These are just real numbers. And the absolute value of zero is zero. Isn't that convenient? Well, yes, it's very convenient because zero is strictly less than epsilon. That's like our first assumption here. I'm assuming epsilon is greater than zero. So what you'll notice here is that this is true pretty much regardless of what I picked N to be. You know, just for convenience, just let N be one. And then this statement is, is, well, I mean, you need it to satisfy the definition, but it's sort of irrelevant because this statement is going to be less than epsilon pretty much regardless. So there you go. That's how you prove the limit of a constant is a constant if we're talking about sequences. Now you can go ahead and click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the Real Analysis course.